Hi guys, so I haven't posted a video in like a month or actually more than a month and I'm so so sorry. Uh, there's really no excuse. I mean, there kind of is. I did start a new semester so for a couple weeks I was getting used to my new semester. I honestly feel like every video I do I start off with, hey guys, haven't seen you in forever so I really apologize that I've been so inconsistent. I really am going to try to post videos more regularly because it's just like not helpful posting videos the way I have like once every month or posting three videos at a time every couple of months so I really like hate doing that I was just getting used to the new semester but you guys probably don't even care about that I just wanted to give a little disclaimer but today's video is going to be my updated hair routine and I haven't done that video since that was one of the first videos I did and it was over a year ago I think I did it like last February or last March and that was the last time I did anything about my hair or anything so I do get questions about it and I'm using completely different products I believe I'm using completely different products than I was in that video that was so long ago so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the products I use on my hair every day or not every day but every time I wash my hair and shampoo and products I use after the shower and stuff like that so um, just a little like backstory of what kind of hair I have just so you can see if it's maybe like similar to yours or whatever. I have very long hair. I mean my hair is like almost down to my butt. Like it's really really long um, and I have a ton of hair but I don't have thick hair. My hair is actually really fine but I have a ton of it so it's almost as if I had thick hair. Um, it might not look like I have a lot of hair right now but I pr trust me I do. Having a lot of hair that's fine can get tangled really easily. So my main concern with like shampoos and conditioners and stuff is really like taming my hair and like detangling it and just making it soft and silky and um, yeah so also I dye my hair. I dye it probably once every like four weeks or so, like once a month, once every four to six weeks, it really depends. But I'm a natural blonde, so this is not my natural hair color at all. I've been brunette for about two years now, and I've definitely noticed that since I started dyeing my hair rather than getting it highlighted, um, my hair has been a lot healthier because bleaching your hair just is so bad for it. I don't actually have a box of dye in front of me to show you, but I use the L'Oreal... Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I will definitely, definitely put the hair dye that I use, like the color and everything, I'll put that below so you can check the description box for that if you're interested what hair color I have. So I have like kind of dry hair, but my hair is really healthy overall because I get, I get it trimmed regularly. I rarely use heat on it. Like once in a blue moon do I use heat on it. I never blow dry it. I never really straighten it, like sometimes, but not really. So... Yeah, my hair is pretty healthy overall. My main concern is just like adding moisture to my hair because it does get dry and yeah. So I'm going to go through the products that I use whenever I wash my hair. So for shampoo and conditioner, now I just want to say that I alternate shampoo and conditioner like every time I wash my hair. I usually use a different shampoo and conditioner. I have like four different ones that I use but I didn't want to talk about all of them. So I'm just going to talk about these because I really, really like these. I have been using the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner, and I started using this because I used to have a really bad problem with a dry scalp. Like, uh, I went to the dermatologist and he told me that I had seborrheic or seborrheic dermatitis, which is basically, it's not dandruff, but it's like scabbing, like I would get scabs on my scalp. And it was just really annoying because I can never like wear my hair up or anything without like having to take out flakes or anything like that. Well, I tried out different dandruff shampoos but they always turn my hair color like orange copper this orange coppery color at the roots and I absolutely hated that so I was just like whatever I'll just deal with it. So I decided to try the clear scalp and hair therapy products because they're supposed to be good like really good at nourishing the scalp. So for the shampoo I got the complete care one and I did notice a little bit, I was using this every time I washed my hair, I did notice that this was kind of turning my hair like a coppery color. But if I use it like once a week or once or twice every other week or something like that, it doesn't change my hair color at all. So this is really good at just like maintaining my like maintaining a healthy scalp and uh, the conditioner that I use is the Total Care Nourishing Conditioner. And I really really love these products. Um, I can't say that they've done like a ton of amazing things to my hair but I definitely think that they have helped keep my hair soft and shiny and just healthy looking and um, 
if any of you are suffering with like seborrheic dermatitis or dandruff or anything like that, I have a huge tip for you that might save you a lot of annoyance in the future. Um, I like completely cured my problem and it wasn't a product that did it. I was using products to kind of help mask the problem, but the thing that really like completely cured it was using conditioner on my scalp. I would always avoid using conditioner on my scalp because I always read in magazines and hear from people that um, you're supposed to condition from like the middle of your hair down to the ends because if you condition your scalp it could make it oily and whatever. So for years I didn't, it was just like automatic, like I would just start conditioning from the middle down to, to my ends and I would avoid my scalp. Well I decided one day to try to like use conditioner on my scalp and see if it helped at all and it completely got rid of my problem. I feel so stupid because I think that my scalp was so dry because I wasn't conditioning it at all, I was just using shampoo and I have like naturally dry skin so... I think that that was just like really bad for my scalp so I if you do not condition your scalp and you have a problem with a dry scalp I would definitely recommend just trying one time just to see how it works for you uh, using conditioner on your scalp and when I use conditioner on my scalp I like let it sit there for a couple minutes and then I rinse it out but um, yeah so this is like the everyday shampoo and conditioner that I've been using and I've really really been enjoying these and they smell really good too and they're like really inexpensive and they have a bunch of different kinds like they have one for color treated hair which I have used that shampoo and uh, I do like it more than this one but I want to use this one up before I go out and repurchase that one uh, they have like a bunch of different kinds so then when I want to use a deep conditioner the my favorite one has been the L'Oreal Eversleek uh, smoothing deep conditioner and it comes in a tub like this and I'm almost out of this um, but I absolutely love this. It completely gets rid of any frizziness that I get and makes it really, really soft. But you can't use this uh, every time you condition your hair. You, you're not supposed to use a deep conditioner because it could actually dry out your hair if you use a deep conditioner too much. So I just use this like once a week. And also, I keep like forgetting to mention things. Um, I only wash my hair like two or three times a week. That might sound like really gross to some people, but it works for me. Like I don't notice like my hair doesn't really get oily fast at all that's another tip if you want to keep your hair healthy and like grow it out long then I would definitely try not to wash your hair every day because washing your hair just is bad for it if you wash it every day it's like it damages it and can dry it out and yeah so that's my tip with that so that's like the shampoo and conditioner I use for the most part I mean I do switch it up a lot but after After I w I'm done washing my hair, I use two products. The two products I use when, as soon as I get out of the shower is the Joyco K-Pak Color Therapy Restorative Styling Oil. That looks like this. And the John Frieda Frizzies Sheer Solution. These two products are my holy grail. I have been using this for like a year and a half now. Well, not that long, but I've been using it for over a year now. And um, I've gone through a full one and now this half one and I absolutely love this. I love, I like this better than Moroccan oil. I've tried Moroccan oil. It's a great product, but I like this more. It completely detangles my hair and just makes it really, really soft. And as soon as I put this in my hair, my comb just like glides through my hair. So I absolutely love this. You can find this at Ulta. That's it as far as I know. I don't really know where else you can find Joyco products. And then this, this is the John Frieda Sheer Solution. This you can find at drugstores, Target, Walmart, stuff like that. This is amazing. This completely like changes the texture of my hair from being like kind of a little bit dry and frizzy. I mean I don't get like frizz ball but I do get kind of like, it does get a little bit frizzy. This makes my hair like sleek and shiny and also helps detangle it and it's just amazing you shake it up and it like activates some technology or something and so I would highly highly recommend this I've raved about this in a few different videos and I absolutely love it I don't know why no one talks about it it's really important when you're combing products through your hair to use a wide tooth comb which I'm sure you all are familiar with but it's just a lot less harsh on your hair and a lot less damaging this is just a comb I got from like Sally's or something um, and then on my dry hair, sometimes when I feel like my hair is dry and it's still a little bit like it's not completely soft, I've been using this Eden Allure P3 
pure argon oil from Morocco. And it looks like this. A company actually sent this to me for free to try out. And it's just 100% argon Moroccan oil. Like there's nothing else in it. That's all it is. At first, and you can use this on your skin and everything, but I haven't done that because I get really weird about oil on my skin. I really, really like this on dry hair. I tried it on my wet hair and I really didn't, I didn't like it because it, it absorbs really, really quickly and I just felt like it wasn't, it was really hard to get all of my hair with this on my wet hair, but on my dry hair, it's really really great it makes it just makes it really shiny and soft and silky and it's just really awesome yeah I really like using this on my dry hair and I like using this on my wet hair I found that using this on my dry hair can sometimes be a little too heavy and make my hair a little oily so I think the combination of these is perfect so my camera is yelling at me it's about to die so I have to wrap this up but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned something new or found something helpful from it if you have any questions about anything I talked about or didn't talk about then please let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!